All right, this is going to be the big test of the uh, John Deere electric conversion. The story on this tractor is I bought it for, I think, $300. The uh, previous owner had the engine running. It had a, a, a Kohler 340, I'm sorry, yeah, a Kohler 341 uh, engine in it, which I guess is a, a, a pretty good engine. I've had a bunch of folks wanting to buy it from me. Obviously, I pulled the engine because an electric motor is going to sit right there. Uh, anyways, the big problem was he got the motor running, said it ran beautiful. Problem was he couldn't get the tractor to stay in gear. Uh, he kept adding fluid, I guess. And what I found was down here on the bottom of the tractor where the uh, oil filter is, that bolt that you can see right there on the left was missing. Uh, actually, it was hanging out. I thank God it didn't get lost. Uh, but anyways, uh, that and, and it was leaking trans, uh, transmission fluid right there. So that's why it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't run, because it just kept leaking transmission fluid. So anyways, I, uh, I rigged up a funnel, and i got to tell you, for all you John Deere guys, there's got to be a better way to fill transmission fluid in these hydro tractors, because this thing was a bear. I mean, it takes a, you know, a cup of fluid every few minutes. It took forever to fill it. But anyways, I got it all, uh, all filled. I actually think I have it overfilled, because this little white thing here, which I think is some type of vent, uh, has a hole in it, a little hole drilled into the top, you know, from the factory, and it's leaking. So I think I got a little too much fluid in this thing, but whatever, it'll be okay. Uh, if it is a vent, it'll just blow fluid out of there when we start it. Uh, to make sure this pump works, I didn't want to go crazy on this project and then find out that the pump doesn't work. I uh, just rigged up this little uh, piece of aluminum that I turned on the lathe and I hooked it up to my uh, half-inch drill over here. So we're going to uh, spin this drill, and then we're going to see if this uh, lever here does anything. So let's uh, let's do this. It's going to get noisy because the drill's noisy. But just uh, bear with it. So there you have it. It works. I'd love to know how to test the hydraulic uh, spools. Maybe uh, if somebody knows an easy way to test them. I have nothing to plug into them to test. But I'd love to know if the spools work. But uh, that's for another, another day. Now i got to gut all this electrical stuff out of here because I'm not going to use any of that. not even going to use the dashboard. I'll build a new dashboard like I did on my uh, 214. i got to paint this chassis, clean it all up, and then uh, turn it into electric. Why not? Thanks for watching.